Incredibly lucky with this project because uh, exactly the right people seem to come along at the right time. We've been very charmed and uh, it was Al and I initially who set out and then uh, Kat and Daryl came on board and then Marin and it was just like every time there was a missing skill set from the, form, from, from the film someone would just materialise who, who had 15 years of experience working on incredible feature films like Avatar and Star Wars and and Harry Potter. And <laughs> incredibly lucky with this project because uh, exactly the right people seem to come along at the right time. We've been very charmed and uh, it was Al and I initially who set out and then uh, Kat and Daryl came on board and then Marin and it was just like every time there was a missing skill set from the, form, from, from the film someone would just materialise who, who had 15 years of experience working on incredible feature films like Avatar and Star Wars. And, and Harry Potter and uh, all sorts of incredible things and uh, yeah it's been a real privilege to work with these people and to know them. Oh. Yeah. It more came from a, um, a real life story that I'd heard of a mother who'd gone through that situation and it's kind of it's easy for me to come along to write that screenplay because she's a, a woman who's there with a, with a young kid trying to keep it quiet amidst all this, this chaos so I think the nature of the real story gave me a, a big help there. It's quite funny because we actually haven't had a screening in Cyprus yet. Uh, we haven't had our European premieres yet. And so we're planning a, um, a big screening in Cyprus on the United Nations Green Line. Mm -hmm. So that still divides uh, Cyprus in two. And there's been a lot of wrangling you know, between a lot of different parties to, to get the problems resolved. But sort of 37 years later, it hasn't been. Um, and so we're hoping to do a screening there on the United Nations Green Line. And I'll tell you then yeah. what, what people think of it. But it's... Um, you know, we, we expect it will sort of bring back some pretty raw emotions for people who live through it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, it's fantastic. Like it's, um, you know, to get recognised by your by your industry peers is, is really important, especially as you spend a lot of time in a dark room writing away and trying to get your ideas out. And it's great to, you know, to get recognised now and again. It's good. Uh, Simon Whiteley, who was our production designer, actually toured around the world for several weeks and visited our sanctuaries. Um, and at the beginning of the production, we actually um, hopped in a helicopter and flew over Tasmania, which was actually a big inspiration for the landscapes in the film. Filmed a lot of uh, footage. Feathers in general in, in, a, in the world of CG is very, very difficult. Um, and uh, we built a system from the ground up at Animal Logic that um, actually allowed us to create um, the feathers for the birds. Um, essentially virtually and doing it reasonably quickly and reasonably efficiently and making them look great which is what is most important. To speak even broadly beyond drawing a lot of the anatomy was kind of shared between the characters so once we had created one we were able to create a lot of them um, a lot quicker than, than you might think um, but we had an echidna um, that wasn't difficult to draw, but um, it was sort of difficult to create because we ended up using the same system we used to create feathers um, to actually create the spines of the echidna. I, I kind of like to think of this as I'm winning it on behalf of the entire crew. Yeah. Um, and how many of there them was, are there? There was almost 500 um, artists working on it at its peak. Um, and, you know, it, as I said, it's, it's something that's shared with them and, and they should all be very, very proud. <laughs>